Hi everyone, welcome back to another 360 with uh, SGN and today a very um, in inspirational person, Gina from the Philippines. Now, some of you may have heard of maids or helpers. Now, we're not going to call you a maid because basically it's sort of tied with subserviency and of course people are paid. So respectfully, you're a helper here in Singapore. Yes. Um, you've managed to you know, get out of the Philippines, create this uh, career and you're really forging your way ahead into something very, very interesting and special. But uh, yeah, firstly, how do you enjoy the job and the life here in, uh, in Singapore? Yeah, I really feel great. I'm very blessed that I have um, a very supportive uh, em um, boss, employer. They are all very supportive. Yeah, it's, uh, that's why I, I able to do all these things that I'm doing right now, or okay. even the previous ones. So what things are you doing? You, you're talking about your social circle, your fitness, uh, things like that? Yeah, um, as uh, you know, I see, same as the other helpers, I only have once a week day off. Okay. I have a public holidays, and yeah, after my work every night, I can do whatever I want. Yeah, okay. like uh, sometimes I do workout, sometimes I do running. Okay. And sometimes if I feel lazy, I just stay in my room and read books and stuff. So basically, yeah, so. you do the same thing that anybody yes. else in the yes. world does. Yes. So a lot of the stereotypical thoughts that some people have, like here in the, in Singapore, um, and for anyone that doesn't know, do some googling. Um, a lot of people who are helpers in, in Singapore and on other countries here in Asia, um, they might only get one day off a month. So yourself, you get every Saturday or Sunday off, did you say? Um, usually I have Sundays, but sometimes Sundays. I have um, activities outside, like Saturday, so I have to okay. talk to my boss if I can go out Saturday instead of Sunday. So okay, it's kind of a conversation yeah. with the boss. We, we have to open up what, what's in my mind what's okay. in my mind right. so that my boss will know what what so you're trying yeah. to say you have the key is great communication yes so and true. builds the trust and yeah. everything yeah. so what do you do with these activities you mentioned dragon boat racing as well as gym yes yeah. yes before covid kicks in oh yeah Lauren. bloody covid um, <laughs> you've ruined everything it's not a person but we're speaking as if it is yeah, I was a Dragon Boat member. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, it's one uh, of the crazy people doing this, isn't it? And these yeah, tiny little yeah, boats. Yeah, it's crazy. It's tiring, but it's fun. Okay. You know, it's like a, it, it's kind of addic addiction. It, it's very <laughs> addictive. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. How many people are in yeah. the boat? Um, in a big boat, like okay. a mix, like men and women yep. in the boat. We are like. 20? 20, 20, 20 people, and you said yeah. there's different size. How many people are in a smaller size? Smaller size is usually 10. 10. So. And how many people do you fit in a rubber ring? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. One. The answer is one. So. You're going over. So, okay, so from any, for anyone who doesn't know about dragon boating, it's an extremely extreme sport, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's exhausting, exhilarating, very similar to rowing, as you see with Oxford and Cambridgeshire with the two big oars. But with this, it's very competitive. It's very competitive. Okay. Yeah, we we actually compete. You to, compete, okay. Yeah, um, to like we join to like international race. Okay. Yeah, all this stuff. Have you competed outside of Singapore? Yeah, last While year. While in your current job? Current job. So as, as a helper, have you ever gone and competed? Yes, yes. Right. We, um, actually, last year we went to Pinang. Oh, Pinang. yeah, by the way, um, our team called Armada. Okay. Yeah. Hang on, there's a bit of, bit of self-promoting here. <laughs> so the team that, uh, that Gina rose with uh, is called Armada. And I think what she's saying is if you're in Singapore and you're interested, then uh, where do you have to go? Who do you contact? Yeah, they can just drop a message to our um, social media account. Okay. We have FB account and Instagram account, so they Facebook can just and Instagram. leave a message. Okay. So yeah. So where are they leaving the message? What's it called? What's the page? Um, Armada. Yes. Facebook. Armada SG. Okay. Armada. Just Armada SG. Yes. Okay. Yes. Armada SG. Um, if you're insane, I mean I am, but not as not to do that. But if you're absolutely insane, you want to be surrounded by, by amazing, interesting uh, people from varying backgrounds. Um, I think Gina's the girl to uh, probably help 
So uh, yeah, do do reach out, do contact her. So okay, so you do your helper. You have limited time. You manage to stay super fit, frankly, um, with your lifestyle. Um, you do dragon boat racing. What else? You told me something about being an instructor now. Uh, yeah, because um, you know. Um, what sort of instructor is that? A gym instructor, is that right? Or personal yeah, trainer? Ju- yeah, personal trainer. Okay. I just got my um, uh, result. Uh, okay. Yeah, and now I'm um, certified. Uh, yeah, a personal trainer. Okay. And yeah, I'm still trying to figure out, but as of now, I already um, enhancing myself to be an instructor. I do a free workout with the helpers or just just for fun. So you drag along lots of other helpers and you're like up, down, you know, and all this sort of stuff, you know. <laughs> jump, jump. I don't I have no idea. I'm clearly yeah, not yeah. an instructor. It's like, it's She's like, thinking I'm crazy. Yeah, I was uh, I, I feel like I'm a boss in a in a day, like you know, oh you do this and that, like you know. Okay, so you do all of this, and then you actually bring along a lot of other people who are kind of, they may want to rest typically, you would say, or go to church or something, but there's a lot of, um, I think, religious people um, from, from your home country that are yeah. doing this job, and you bring them along, you've shown them inspiration and getting them to work out and things. Basically, you're just showing them a little bit more to life. Yes, yes, um, it's like... Yeah. Um, I mean, I hope they, they get inspired personally. I mean. Yes, as, as they telling me, it's like they kind of like it, so yeah. they want more and more. Okay, are they saying yeah, that okay. while they're exercising? You know, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, or is it after, and they're like, oh, that was, that was difficult, yeah, but okay. Yeah, yeah. So after that, then what? So become a personal instructor here for the opportunity or if not then in the Philippines perhaps? Yes, yes, so true. If I if I get a chance to work as a personal trainer here yeah, in Singapore, yeah. why not? Just grab the opportunity. Absolutely. Yeah. I won't come because I'll be terrified. <laughs> I'll film it maybe but I'll I be terrified. I can train you for free if you want I was to. in the army. <laughs> I was in the British Army. That was a long uh, time ago I, so I, we can refresh it. <laughs> Just kidding, okay. <laughs> a little bit sad now. I've got to admit, my cheeks hurt from how embarrassed I am. Wow. So, yeah. Um, if things doesn't really kind of um, work out. plan, and, yeah. you know, so if I go back to Philippines, I think I will do the same thing. I will okay. teach younger ones to do workout. And, okay. Yeah. Maybe for the first couple of years, I will do it for free. Yeah. But wow. Then, what are you going to do for a living? Uh, I will try to figure out that, but yeah, I will get that. I will get there. It, it sounds pretty awesome. Well, I, I think that for a lot of people who don't know, it's a, it's a lot cheaper in the Philippines. So hopefully, what I would think is perhaps you'd open your own little gym or something, mm-hmm. train younger generations for for little to nothing, yeah, um, and then get get the older generations to pay a little bit and you know make a life and. Mm-hmm. That that sounds yeah. truly wonderful. Yes, you it's, know, mm, it's a pretty good idea. And I'm just making it happen. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So um, what else? Um, yeah, I think I think that's uh, uh, that's the most. Um, okay. But you thing? have a good social life here as well. Yes, yes. It's like I. Oh, this I, sounds like a story. Go on, man. Yeah, I do a lot of workout in the day, and then later on, I will like you know catch up with friends for like chatting. Okay. All that. It's like a normal life. And this isn't just like with a lot of other other helpers, where they're just within that circle. I believe you actually socialize with the dragon boat team. So mm-hmm. there's people of different races, religions, mm-hmm. everything. Yes. You'll just stay together and mm-hmm. very supportive. Mm-hmm. Yes, so. I, I really, I really love and um you know i i really don't feel uh the 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 tension when i'm in the team you're just one of them right yes so the point i was making is instead of the stereotypical thing this is the whole point breaking the mold and educating people instead of the norm you've actually broken out of the typical social circle Mm -hmm. and now you're actually amongst everybody that Mm -hmm. people wouldn't normally Mm -hmm. assume you would Mm -hmm. So you're just a nice, normal person like anybody else. Mm-hmm. Um, you have a background, like most people, mm-hmm. but um, it's a good background and it's become a wonderful, mm-hmm. wonderful journey. Yes, I think it's 
based on what you really want in life and yeah. make it happen. You know? okay. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, just make a smaller step, step by step. And then, yeah, if you get there, and then that's it. That sounds awesome. Well, look, Gina, thank you so much for taking the time to uh, to speak to me today and coming here to uh, River House at uh, Cloud Key. So uh, if anyone would like to uh, have a great time out, this is this is where we are, River House. We actually spoke to Alan Wu here. Um, but yeah, Gina, thank you so much. I hope you keep dragon boating once COVID lifts up a bit. Um, inspire your, uh, your fellow countrymen uh, yes. to do more, to yes. live. I love to. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, thank you so much for having me here as well. It's awesome. Absolutely. So uh, we're going to say bye. We're going to enjoy our drink and uh, and then the sunshine. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you.